glad you could join us in another video from Live Road. Today we are doing unboxing and a gear review of the Intuit Two Man inflatable kayak. As you can see, it comes in a very nice bag, which helps a lot with transportation if you have to do it. It has quite handy straps here, so you can throw it on your back. Uh, they are not very comfortable though, but they do the job, so it's okay. Now we're going to proceed with the uh, unboxing. Uh, this is the first time we're doing it. We are we have no idea what's inside. Well, there's a kayak inside for sure, but how we're going to proceed with uh, un uh, with uh, assembling and inflating it? Well, we'll see how it goes. We've got a, a 5.2 hand pump here. It's the same brand. It doesn't come with the kayak. You have to purchase it um, separately. Uh, well, it's not too expensive, and we'll see if it's so if it works. Okay, let's unpack this. Okay, so the entire thing seems like it's a one piece. That's good. Also, here in the front of the pack, we've got a, a Velcro pocket. Inside here, we have an emergency repair kit for the kayak, and we have a manual. Well, it's always good to have a pocket on your back. All right, let's see. we're gonna try it on the sea as you can see behind me it's not a lake it's not a river but it's a proper sea bay so there's a little bit wind today so we're gonna test it out in these conditions okay let's see ah we've got a of course we've got the keels here to help the balance of our kayak and yeah, then we're gonna proceed with inflating it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we managed to inflate the kayak. It took very little time with the pump we have because it's a two-way pump, 5.2 capacity. So inflating the floor and the sides all together took us maybe five minutes. So it's a very, very quick deployment of this kayak. Now we're gonna show you the seats. The seats have uh, the Velcro patches here um, from the bottom so you can place them wherever you want. If you are two people of different height, then you can adjust the, the seats perfectly here. And uh, seats are inflatable as well. You've got, a, you've got a plug here. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect it and inflate our seats. Uh, we will need uh, the smaller plug for it. So we're just gonna exchange it real fast. Just put it in here and it should take maybe one or two strokes to get it inflated. Like this, one, that's two, and maybe two and a half, I think, all right, three strokes should be plenty for one seat. Just gonna screw this back in, and there we go, you can adjust it here with the straps, fully regulated, so as far as seats go, looks like this. 
Of course, don't forget about the keels. They will help a lot with the balance of your of your kayak. They are very easily set up. You just need to slide it in the position here, and you have a little plastic switch lock here. You just slide it underneath, and it with a little click it locks itself. So we do the same with the second one. Just slide it, take the lock, slide it beneath, locked. The third one goes in the front. So analogically we slide it, we take the lock underneath and we're set. Okay, so there it is. This is the whole thing that we that we have prepared. As I said, inflating the kayak is very it's very quick, it takes around five minutes tops. Uh, we adjusted our chairs. Inflating the, inflating the seat of the chair takes three strokes on our pump, so it's pretty much instant. Inflating it, we've got our live vests ready here and in the front. We've got two sets of paddles and we are good to go. We're good to go. So, as I said, we are testing it on the sea. So a little bit windy today. I hope that this kayak can take it. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, we managed to put this thing into water. Very excited about this. We're just gonna drop our equipment. Just hide it here. We've got a nice compartment here. I think the uh, backpack of such size should be should easily fit in here. We just slide it down here. Hopefully. It's all set. I've got enough space between the pack and my bag to be quite comfortable here. We also have a waterproof, waterproof uh, bag from e 2 it as well. It's a 10 liter bag for our most, most important stuff, like our wallets, cell phones and so on. I'm gonna put it behind me here as well. So as you can see, we've got plenty of space here. That's all, we are just gonna get in and go our way to the bay. Let's go. Okay, so we're at sea, managed to launch from the coast, somewhere here, somewhere there, behind me. Um, if it comes to uh, comfort in this kayak, it's quite okay, although the seats are uh, located very low, so they don't provide uh, much support. Uh, for me, I would like it to be a little more higher so I could have all my back supported But all in all for an inflatable kayak, I think it's it's not bad. It's okay uh, We've been only for a few minutes here now. We're gonna cruise around the Cruise around the bay see how fast we can get tired because we are not used We were not really used to to paddling. It's our first time in many many years uh, so we'll see how it goes, but yeah, first impression, it's a, it's a decent product. Uh, there was no problem in uh, getting into the kayak from, from the shore, it was very stable. Uh, I didn't have an impression that it will tip over, so yeah, all in all, I'd say it's a pretty good first impression. So we'll see how it goes with, uh, with pedaling today, and we'll report back to you pretty soon. We managed to find a really nice secluded place just between the rocks, like so. Of course, in our kayak, it's performing pretty well. After uh, around an hour of, uh, of swimming, of paddling, I don't feel very tired yet. So, so it's cool, it's okay. It's very nice to experience all the views from a different side, like so. All right, so we've been traveling so far for around two hours, maybe more. I have to say it's very comfortable in this kayak. My first impression about back support, maybe not valid anymore because I don't feel like I'm 
any tired on my back or something it's quite okay uh, regarding the product itself I think it's very reliable it's very sturdy uh, there's no chance of tipping it over we tried balancing left to right but really there's there's not much you can do to tip it over I think you would have to pretty much sit on one side with two people and try to flip it over otherwise it's it's very steady and yeah, it's very I feel very safe in it uh, maneuverability I'd say ace you can maneuver between uh, tight rocks like we did no problem uh, paddles paddles don't come with the with the kayak uh, you have to buy them separately but they're not very expensive it's around 20 25 euros for one pair so quite okay but overall impression about about the kayak yeah, it's a great great stuff you can uh, we are we, as I said we are cruising here on the sea uh, we've been a couple hundred meters off the shore uh, sometimes when a motorboat came by there were quite quite uh, big waves but really nothing that that can threat this kayak so overall no problem I would recommend it for sea for well not open sea of course we are still uh, somewhere inside the bay so it's not rough but there, there is a bit of wind uh, so I would recommend it for the sea for the calm sea even more for a lake or for a river as well. I think that the material that it's made of are very durable and I think it could take easy, like brushing against the rocks on the, on the river wouldn't be a problem for this kayak. So, so far, so good. In case you wondered how the gear looks like after the whole day of uh, pedaling, after disassembling it and trying to dry it off, so this is it. This is the kayak with the floor removed. Luckily I have a quite big terrace so I can fit it all in here and let it dry. You can see the puddles of, of water still in here. And the floor is right here, is spread on my... <laughs> pallet garden like furniture the chairs are removed as well and they are drying off here on the seats so yeah this is how it looks and to remove the floor you've got uh, those little loops here the plastic loops there are six of them and they go and they go right Somewhere here, yeah, there you go. You've got those velcro straps here, so you lead it through that loop, the plastic loop on the floor, and then just close it like so. And you've got six of those, three on each side, and this is how it looks after after our adventures. Quite a mess, but you know, you have to take care of your equipment. Okay, so this will be kind of a conclusion after two days of battling uh, for, the, for the end of our weekend adventure we found this really nice secluded place uh, between the rocks like a private beach so a very nice spot to uh, to conclude uh, about our review and first impressions of Ituit Truman relatable kayak so I have to say that regarding comfort is very nice I would give it like four out of five as I said, the back support on the, on the chairs is a little bit low. Uh, I would like it to be a bit higher, but it's not a big problem. And it's generally depending on your preferences. Uh, it's very sleek, very lean. 
uh, when you when you paddle, you can just feel that it's like sliding on the waves, sliding on the water. The looks, the looks, five out of five. It looks awesome, especially the the lime color uh, combined with uh, black and uh, and green. Uh, we've got red vests uh, with it and these uh, orange paddles. So everything combines into a very very nice look. So yes, in general. I would definitely recommend it after the first two days of battling. We'll see how it goes. We'll be using it quite frequently, but so far, I guess it's a, it's a very good product uh, for, for this kind of money. Uh, I guess it was a couple of hundred euros, 400 euros, I think, maximum that you should pay for it with the extras, maybe 500 tops. But really, the places you can visit with uh, with this kind of gear it's unbelievable we live near the sea and basically with this kayak we can explore everything around around it. nothing more to say recommend it i recommend it very much and that's it take care i see you in another